hello and welcome. In today's video I will be showing you how to make a photorealistic t-shirt mock-up. So what you want to do first is download a package which a company has made. It's a paid one so you have to be willing to dig into your pockets a bit. I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's $12 ish but I'm not sure. What it is, it's a Photoshop file which has split up the shirt into different things. So you've got the background, got the actual shirt colour, because they've all taken the same shirt. There's an area to put my art, there's a mask, and there's some shadows which gives the photorealistic effect basically. That's all it is, it's nothing amazing, it's just nice. You could probably, if you were dedicated enough, make your own to be an equal quality. What you want to do is you want to go and file, open, find a graphic that you want to put on. I'm going to base it off a shirt I've already seen on shops from multiple places. I'm going to grab the magic wand which is a W. And then click on the blue. Select inverse and then control Z so I know it's copied. Now go back onto the shirt and I'm going to click your art layer and make sure that shadows is locked because if it's not you may end up moving the shadowed layer instead of this one. So now press uh, V to get the move tool up and you can just move the logo around. You can't see it very well but the shadows overlay the artwork or the graphic that you want to put on. But if we move it down here you can see it a bit better. You just want to put that where you want to put it. You can edit the colour of the shirt with this layer. And then to save that you want to go on File, Save As, go to where you want to save it and make sure you save it as a JPEG or a PNG or whatever. Another shirt I'm going to do is a Batman logo. Again I've seen it before. So where you want to go, File, Open, and here's the logo I'm going to use. Or, and you can go Control O to open the file as well. I'm going to go onto the shirt design so as you can see it's more. Here's a front wrinkle shirt. I think there's five colours and four ones front back, flattened and wrinkly. So this will hopefully give a better effect. Again, I'm going to go on Magic Wand like that. That inverse control X again just to get that out of the way so I know what I've taken. Go on here, go on your artwork. I'm going to show you why you need a or might need to lock the shadow layer. And now we've got the logo on. If I go on V for move, I just end up moving the shadows. So I'll undo that. Control Z. Come here, lock the shadows, go back into art, V for move tool. I can move around and you can see the shadows and I've got like some writing there which I didn't notice before which I can get rid of and then now you've got the logo you just move it around but as you can see here there's a folding so you've got a logo and that's the bottom what you want to do is get a, some better detail of the graphic or logo you want to see on the shirt and literally just grab the eraser tool and delete the graphic along here. Now you can spend more time and effort making this look nice how it could look if you spent more time on it and obviously used a, a decent graphic and it's that right there. If I zoom back out now, as you can see it's really badly done but it's folded up, I need to get rid of them as well. And there you go, that's how you make photorealistic shirts. To save it again, Control shift s that's the save as. Make sure you want to save it as the file you want. 
That'll be dark front wrinkled. Save. Okay. I just go through the basic saving procedure. Okay, that's the tutorial. Out.